Now I'm left with the last case where x is greater than or equal to 7. In this interval, this is positive, but this is negative. So I need to change the sign in this case. So I'll get x minus 1 plus x minus 7 not equal to 6. Or 2 of box of x shouldn't be equal to 14 or box of x shouldn't be equal to 7. That means in this interval x shouldn't be in this 7 to 8. This shouldn't be the interval. I should exclude this interval from this one. So if x is greater than equal to 7, x shouldn't belong to So, the domain of this function is set of all real numbers minus x should belongs to 0 to 1, x belongs to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and x belongs to 7 to 8. So, I should exclude this whole interval from the real numbers set to get the domain of this function. So, now we move on to the fifth question. Fifth question. This is a function f of x given by root of x. This is a function g of x given by x plus 4. And this is a function h of x given by 4x minus 8. And there are four options. We have to see which of the option is correct. The first option is g of h of f of x is root of x minus 2. The second option is f of g of h of x is root x minus 2. The third option is h of g of f of x equals to root x minus 8. And the fourth option is h of f of g of x equals to root of x minus 4. This is a very simple question. You just need to put on proper values. I won't solve this question. You would need to try this on your own. The solution to the question is option C. This is the correct solution to this question. I hope there won't be any problem solving this question. If you have any problem solving this question, you can post the question on our forum. The link to our forum is collegepedia.in slash forum. Next, we move on to the sixth question. The question is, I have been given a function f of x as log a x plus, where plus 1. Okay, and I am asked if the function is symmetric about which axis or which point. The first option is x axis, second is it is symmetric about the origin, the third option is symmetric about the y axis and the fourth option is symmetric about y equals to x. Okay, let us see. Let us find of out f of minus x because if I know f of minus x equals to f of x then I can say it is symmetric about the y axis. If I find f of minus x equal to minus of f of x we can say it is symmetric about the origin. To find out if it is symmetric about y equals to x we need to find the inverse of this function. If the inverse is the same as the function itself then it is symmetric about y equals to x and similarly to find out if, if it is symmetric about the x axis. I need to see that for the same value of x, I get two values of y or not. We can see that that won't be the case before because there is an x term here and this is a log function. So it's not obviously symmetric about the x-axis. Let's find out about these two cases. And since this is a single option correct choice, if any of these two is correct, then we need not check for this one. Okay, let's find out of minus x. 
it will be minus x plus square plus 1. If I multiply this with x plus x square plus 1, and divide it by the same factor. On the denom denominator, I'll get the same term. On the num numerator, I'll get 1. Okay. Now, to get rid of this denominator, I can write this same as log of a x plus 1 to the power minus 1. I can remove this minus 1 and bring it here. So, what is this? This is again f of x with the minus sign. So, I see that f of minus x equals to minus of f of x. So, this is nothing but the odd function. Now, since this is an odd function, this function is symmetric about the origin. So, b is the correct option. Okay. So, now we have discussed questions on domain. We have seen whether the function is odd or even like that. Now, let's solve some questions on inverse functions. The first question, this is a question asked in IITJE, is this. This is altogether the, I think, the seventh question which we are discussing. The first question of inverse functions. The function is defined as x plus 1 by x. I have been asked to assume that the function is bijective. Assuming the function is bijective, I have been asked to find f of inverse x. I have to find f of inverse x. Now, the approach will be to find x in terms of, let's say, y. If I find x in terms of y, I can find the inverse function. This is basically the inverse function. So, let's say y equals to, what will y is equals to, it's x square plus 1 by x. So, I can write y equals to x square plus 1 or if I solve this quadratic, I will get x equals to y plus minus by 2, right? Now, you can see that x is a positive quantity from 1 to inf infinity. So, since x is a positive quantity, I don't need to take the negative sign in this case. So, I can write x equals to y plus y square minus 4 by 2. This is what? This is f inverse y. Right? x equals to f of x. Sorry. y equals to f of x. So, x is equal to f inverse y. So, now this is what we get as f inverse y. Now, replace y by x to get f inverse x. So, f inverse x is equal to x square. This is the solution. Now, in this question, I had been given that the function is bijective. So, we didn't prove that the function is bijective. In questions where you are asked to find f of inverse x and the question is a subjective question, then you need to first prove that the function is bijective and then only you have can say that the function for the function inverse exists. Let's see in this next question where we have not been given that the function is bijective, we will first prove that it is a bijective function and then we will go on to find what the inverse of this function is.